leak. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. See that? Oh. You see that pour? Uh-huh. Are you picking that up in the mic? Am I going <laughs> to oh, spill man. beer all over my mic? Hearing that drizzle. Oh, here, oh. cheers to you. The Irishman's drinking on the podcast. Oh, man. I'm, I've got my morning, Joe. You've got your... I'm drinking Mortal Kombat 1 beer. <laughs> oh, baby. It's called Flawless Victory. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Does it feel like somebody's uh, reaching into your liver and pulling it out? Yeah, fucking brutality, skin? baby. Poli <laughs> police brutality on my liver. <laughs> oh, man, that's good. Yeah. It actually tastes pretty good. It's just a pale ale. It looks like piss. You drank that. Damn. I did. I sure did. At least you I drank sure it for did. content. I tasted my own pee when I was younger for no reason. <laughs> for no reason. Just out of, well, what is content if not the curiosity of man? <laughs> <laughs> That's why they made fire for smack uh -huh. rock against wood. That's how they uh -huh. made fire. <laughs> that's, that's the first piece of content. How how did the first person like obviously lightning hits things and like ooh fire unga bunga oh, oh. like yeah. But how did somebody at some point be like, what if I rub that stick against that dry stick real fast? I think about that so much with so many different things. There's no like, way he like picked up flint and was like. That shit sparks. Sorry, I didn't understand that. Uh, shut the oh fuck my, up, Siri. My Stupid watch, bitch. Shut up. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Fucking AI <laughs> bullshit. The the oh, writer oh, strikes oh, over, shut. Siri. <laughs> Fucking sag after her against you, bitch. Jesus Christ. Fucking hate Siri. She fucking ruined my family. She turned on a microphone. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Fucking always listening. You're always listening so, and you have I, no fucking solutions to anything. <laughs> she's always listening, except whenever I actually need it, it doesn't work. Yeah. <laughs> it's stupid. It's like, how? Uh, when was this film released? Here's what I found on the web. It's like, if I wanted to go on the web, I would have gone on the web. You stupid I fucking gone on the mechanical web. bitch. <laughs> I, I want you to tell me right here, right now. Yeah. Stupid. Idiot. Alexa would tell God. me. Alexa uh -huh. and me are homies. I told Alexa mm -hmm. to give me bars one time. She busted into a fucking rap. Did she actually? Yeah, she can rap if you ask her. <laughs> <laughs> she can. All, I like it when she whispers. Oh, and when she does a quiet fart. Here's big fart. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, ew. I, I kind of liked it. <laughs> I love that. Like that. That the software engineers and fucking whoever does stuff was like, we gotta add farts. Unless you're the guy who is like, call me an ambulance. Like, okay, you're an ambulance. <laughs> it's like, I've lost four pints of blood. I'm dying. Please actually call the paramedics. I want to be in those meetings for that when they're like being very official and stuff. And it's just like, um, Dominic, do you have revisions for fart sound number three? Right, can you pull those up, please? <laughs> yeah, I did some Foley work last night at home. Um... I had Indian food, so I like I got some real squeakers. <laughs> I was like, hey, pull them up, pull them up on the intercom. And then it's just like <laughs> he just starts blasting Lil Uzi Vert. <laughs> it's like, sorry, that's my Spotify. Fuck. It's like <laughs> Spotify. I I'm Apple Music. Apple Music. <laughs> uh, Apple Music. <laughs> it's, it's like our favorite, our favorite TikTok. Cut me yeah. some slack. <laughs> uh, cut me some. Teams? teams? <laughs> I feel like that's so specific as well that most people don't know what Microsoft Teams is. Because don't Microsoft yeah. own Zoom as well? Do they? They well, might. Who owns Zoom? I have no idea. Jamie, pull it up. <laughs> uh, let me, Jamie, let me pull see. it up. I've been drinking. Who I, I'm curious owns... to see if I get progressively worse as the episode goes on from one can of beer. And then people will be like, he's so drunk. I'm like... You have no idea the power <laughs> that I hold. D D Zoom on Zoom. Well, fuck that. I hey, Siri. Who owns Zoom? Okay. I found this on the web for who owns. Check it out. Who is search <laughs> domain name? You are a stupid <laughs> fucking bitch. It's like asking a dog what the answer is. 
<laughs> it's like, if I wanted nonsense, I would have just not looked it up. I would have made something up in my brain. <laughs> it's like when, you, when you're telling a dog, like, go get it. Who's here? And they're just like wandering around <laughs> yeah. the room, freaking out. As soon, like, oh, oh. as soon as you just go, who's there? And they're like, huh? <laughs> Where? What do you mean? I Is someone here or is that tree? I don't know. What? <laughs> God, it's so funny. Oh my God, uh -huh. I heard seagulls outside my house as I said that. It's so funny. Everyone knows what seagulls sound like. They're like, ah, 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 ah. Fucking seagulls. Flawless, nailed it. But if you live near seagulls, first of all, they're so annoying. I don't care what you say. Yep. They're the worst bird. But also, they sit on like rooftops nearby and they just go, hum, hum, hum. <laughs> and it's like, are you laughing at me? <laughs> they did do that. It's like, I, I don't will kill any... you walking down the street and they're just like, <laughs> it's like, shut up! I, I don't have seagulls where I currently live, but where I grew up, there's tons of seagulls. And seagulls, first of all, don't give a fuck. They're so annoying. I was at the beach so many times growing up, and they just come up and they, they steal your food. Yeah, They don't is, care about anybody. They're as close to, like, scumbag <laughs> teenagers as you can get in animal form. <laughs> I, I wouldn't do this now, <laughs> but when I was, like, 14, 15 at the beach, me and my friends would, would just throw rocks at them. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> we would, like, see if we could hit them out of the sky, which is so awful. I mean, I we never did got that any. when I was 14 as well, but I would never admit it on a podcast. Yeah, yeah Wait. well, you know, we all make <laughs> mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a seagull kill a pigeon once. <laughs> oh, it's the worst. I saw yeah, a seagull die in my backyard. That's right. I never actually told this story. We have a, like a little pond in our backyard that came with the house and I don't like it. It's it's very bougie. It's the bougiest landmark you can have in your backyard. But they would come and eat the fish that were in it. So I was like, okay, I don't like this. So we put wire over it, like fishing line. So it's like, oh, we'll deter them from getting in. And then one day I woke up and there was just a seagull in the pond wrapped around the wire. And I was like, what am I supposed to do? I can't, like, get to you. You're, like, in the pond. Like, I can't go out to get it. And then we're like, okay, we'll call the pond guys. They'll know what to do. Bring a big net or something. And within, like, the hour it took them to get there, the seagull had died. It freaked itself out, turned upside down, drowned. I'm like, you're a seafaring bird. <laughs> How did this yeah, happen? Wait. That's like me dying by walking down the street. <laughs> that's That's true, actually. They should know how to get out of a net. Yeah. They're on boats and stuff all the time. Yeah, they know how to steal food, they know how to open up doors, they know how to do taxes. They're like velociraptors. They do move <laughs> Ooh, in I flocks. Like, I like the way that you said that. Velociraptors. Velociraptors? <laughs> what? Velociraptor. Do I say it weird? Well, you put some emphasis on the back end there. Because, like, I would say Velociraptor, but you said Velociraptor. Oh, yeah, it's because you got to, like, speed into it. Velocity's in the name. Velociraptor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fun. It makes you, me kick my little feet. <laughs> do you think Velociraptor just means, like, fast lizard? I don't know. Probably. No, what's crazy is that we don't know what any of these fuckers sounded like. We kind of do. We don't, didn't, you, didn't you watch Jurassic Park 3 where he blows into the thing and it goes... <laughs> Uh, that is true. Velociraptor <laughs> means robber or plunderer. What? <laughs> Swift yeah. and raptor. Raptor means robber? Small active carnivore that probably fed on protoceratops. <laughs> I have a velociraptor tattoo. I always forget about it. Oh, yeah. Dr one. Big Jurassic Park fan. Yeah, huge Jurassic Park fan, baby. Huge Jurassic Park fan. I have, he a, has, um, I have a... They do move in herds written on his ass cheeks. <laughs> mm -hmm. I have the Velociraptor, which is Jurassic Park, and I have the Time Code, which is In Time, the Justin Timberlake movie. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then he has... Yep. He actually has, like, a dust cloud somewhere on him for the movie Jumper with Hayden Christensen, because mm -hmm. that's, like, the smoke he leaves behind when he, when he jumpers. <laughs> when he jumper in 2008. <laughs> <laughs> when he jumper really far. <laughs> when he jumper so far. He'll never jumper. <laughs> 
You know, sometimes you go into your closet and you want to wear clothes and you're like, man, I'm sick of wearing the same thing over and over again. And this clothes doesn't fit and I feel stupid and look ugly. I've been wearing the same t-shirt since eighth grade. I've been wearing the same t-shirt since 1985. Wasn't even born then. What do we do? We've got no option. <sighs> well, luckily for us, there's a product called Roan. Men's closets were due for a radical reinvention and Roan stepped up to the challenge. They stepped on up to the podium, claimed first place already. I just want something that's comfortable. Something that's breathable. Something that's flexible. Something that I can commute in. Oh, flexibility is everything. How are you going to go out and do 18 holes of golf and be all constricted by your clothing? You got to swing like Rory, baby. I don't know who Rory is, <laughs> he but is. I sure do. Look, looking good has never been so easy. Not only are you going to look good, you're going to feel good, because when you look good, you feel good, baby. Said the same thing twice. <laughs> <laughs> Roan's comfortable four-way stretch fabric provides breathability, flexibility, and leaves you free to enjoy the life that you deserve. Whatever life throws at you, you're going to be able to go, ah! caught it, because now I can stretch in this clothing. Oh, man, and you're doing all that movement, you're probably thinking, oh, I'm going to get all stinky. But I heard that Roan's got crazy odor-free tech with gold fusion. It's an anti-odor technology that you'll be, that that guarantees you'll be smelling fresh and clean all day long. And on top of that, Roan is 100% machine washable. Now you so want to wear gold? Take you want to wear gold? You're going to wear gold. Royalty, baby. I have pit stains. <laughs> That's because you're not wearing Roan. <laughs> The commuter connection can get you through any work day and straight into whatever comes next. So head to roan.com slash brainleak and use promo code brainleak to save 20% off your entire order. Say it again once more and cooler. Oh, baby, that's roan.com, R-H-O-N-E dot com slash brainleak and use code brainleak at checkout. Save 20% off your entire order. It's time to find your corner offers comfort. <laughs> What's your guilty pleasure movie? Or a movie where you're like, man, I know that movie kind of sucks, but I love it. Ooh. Because I feel like that might be jumper for for many people. Yeah. Because it's not like a good movie, but it's fun. It's fine. As a cool concept, and the I, I've heard the book is good, but I don't. The movie's like, eh. God, I always forget that Samuel Jackson is in that movie. He'll never jump her. He'll never jump her. You ever see that meme? It's like, he'll never ball him. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's like, I think it's like a basketball thing. It's like, dude, he's balling. He'll never ball him. <laughs> I just love the fucked up grammar of that. He'll never jump her. He would never jump her. Um, I feel like I had an answer to this recently, because as I was, like, painting stuff, I was watching a ton of shit i don't know you've been painting up a storm recently what's it like having a hobby you asked me that last week i know and i said great i'm learning how to use contrast paints and it's very messy but i'm learning a lot and i love myself for it that's good that's why i drink on a podcast now <laughs> <laughs> what's your guilty pleasure is it dark skies yeah how many oh, times did you watch baby. that movie when you were sick in a single day how many times did you watch that movie I watched that movie, I think it was four times in a day once. I don't know why. And it's funny because I was like, oh, this movie's so good. And then we watched it together and I was like, this movie's not that good. <laughs> I, I felt really bad because you were like, we should watch it. You've never seen it. You like alien stuff. And I was like, yeah, cool. Uh -huh. The trailer looked kind of cool and some of the actors in it I like. And then we watched it and I was like, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> It felt like watching one of those movies that your friend really likes and they're like, cool part, right? <laughs> You're watching it, right? And this I was like, sweet. I was like, this is fine. <laughs> it's fine. It is a good like turn off your brain, watch in the background, like as I'm like mm -hmm. cooking kind of movie. I think. Yeah, it's not um, bad. It's just I, very normal. It's it's not good either. <laughs> yeah, it's it's, uh, it's whatever. What do I like to watch that's not good? I have great taste in movies. I don't watch garbage. My my guilty pleasure, Citizen Kane. Oh, baby. You My guilty are pleasure. a gem. Godfather. Oh, baby. I, have, I haven't seen either of those movies. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I also haven't. Wait. Yes, I have. I've seen The Godfather once. The Godfather? The Godfather. That's, I did watch Citizen just, Kane. That's just a lot of teenagers' life. The Godfather. <laughs> <gone father. laughs> did I ever tell you? I can't remember what we've talked about on this podcast and what we oh, have. Oh, pe- people know. They keep score. We don't. People, <laughs> we don't. Have I told you about the best class that I took in high school, which was I was a senior, and it was the first year that they did it for English. They were like, if you're not doing AP English, you can either take uh, like a normal English class or you can take a film class. What? And I was like, I'm, I'm going to take the film class. And it was just studies about film. But the English teacher like didn't really know about film all that much, so he kind of just made up the thing. So our our homework, well, first of all, in class, we would watch movies and just like talk about movies or talk about certain scenes. And then our homework every week, it was like once or twice a week, was just to watch a movie and take notes on it. And the notes could be anything because <laughs> it was subjective because he's just like, take notes about the movie like show me that you're paying attention and not just bullshitting. Oh, you and just, just had to write be one down. Of, you had to be one of those YouTuber ex- movie explained channels where all you do is yeah. actually synopsize the movie and don't explain anything. God, I could I could have just written down a Cinema Sins video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this movie sucked. Uh, the guy waved at the camera at one point. Uh, Ten points off. Ding. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been really funny if I like had my own like demerit system <laughs> yeah. just like, I, every movie starts as a 10 out of 10 everything that goes wrong i'm taking points off yep but it was awesome all i had to do was watch movies and then write about my thoughts about it Dude, the fucking sweet. rules i know it was awesome what happened to you great. why did you turn out the way you are when you had such cool things happening to you as a kid <laughs> i don't know did real bad in math did uh, real bad in that's math. fair i don't blame you for that there's a reason we're here doing this if we were good at mm-hmm. math it would be obvious. We wouldn't be here. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> and neither would you at home listening, all of you math geniuses. How many mathematicians are listening to this podcast? Yeah. This is Proven. someone's guilty pleasure where they're like, it's not good, but I listen to it. That is true. I, I'm glad to be someone's guilty pleasure. Guilty pleasures are sometimes yeah. the better ones. Exactly. Because that makes you unique and quirky. And quirky and fun, and you know, we're not the we're not the podcast for all the super geniuses out there, but we're the we're the podcast for the for the the the, 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 the average heroes, you know, the ones that can't think straight, the just, ones that just say wake up the, in the morning. Just say we're the podcast for morons. Just say we're the idiot podcast. Yeah, we are. But imagine, imagine one day if we did a live show, the the crowd. Imagine, no one would be able imagine to a read. thousand idiots watching. <laughs> A thousand idiots in a room. The possibilities are endless. We, we can, can do, do anything. Yeah, we could do anything. They don't care. They're just happy they to see flashing care. lights. <laughs> exactly. It's crazy. We should do a live show where it's just us introducing each other for an hour and a half. Because <laughs> you come out and it's like, the guy. Woo! You can play that out as long as you want. And then uh-huh. it's like... Introducing Ethan Nestor, and then everyone goes crazier <laughs> because that's how live shows work. The second one uh-huh. always gets the bigger reaction, and then it, you just come out and you're like, "Ladies and gentlemen, Sean McLaughlin." <laughs> and then you, just go crazy <laughs> you just spin around, <laughs> and then you're like, you just leave the stage again, and I'm like, everybody. Ethan Nestor. <laughs> you just go with that for as long as you can. And then see how funny that is for as long as you can. I, you know, I would feel bad. Well, the show should be but free, would, obviously. <laughs> yeah. Like, what What can we get away with for, <laughs> for 90 minutes, you know? Look, what? you pay money for these tickets. We'll try and keep them at the low, low price of $150. Yes, yeah, man, Man's got to eat. Well, yeah. I'm not just talking about, like, mm-hmm. fucking instant noodles i i'm a steak man i'm a i'm a mortal kombat one beer kind of guy (laughs) oh and you know that's priceless can't really put a price on that unless they sell them (laughs) yeah either one (laughs) what's the difference (laughs) i mean if i drink it it's worth nothing it's literally worth its weight in piss (laughs) there is a very fine line between priceless and worthless (laughs) yes we have discussed this that was me uh bringing the joke back (laughs) oh 
You know when last week you said you started your meds again? <laughs> I did. I did, and then I went to therapy yesterday, and my therapist was like, you should get a new doctor. Oh. And I was like, okay. I also went to therapy yesterday. Not not a new therapist, a new, like, doctor, doctor. <laughs> she was like, I she can't should. do therapy with you anymore. Since you started your meds again, you're so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't. You Ugh. go to therapy on Wednesdays? Yeah. Look at us l working on our brains at the same time. I know. Mm -hmm. Kindred spirits. Kings. Two, you, two mental health kings. Do you, do, you, do you ever talk about me in therapy? Sometimes I talk about you in therapy. Wow. Sometimes. <laughs> I go, he really just brings me down. Yeah, he's, he's the reason I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I just can't. I just can't. Yeah. <sighs> Not um, anymore. Sean, sp speaking of shows, if I may for a moment be a selfish bitch <laughs> go for it sell your heart listen out. listen folks hi my name is ethan nestor and i'm about to sell you an experience 45 you've, seconds <laughs> you've heard of top of the morning coffee well get ready for my documentary <laughs> <laughs> I, along with many other people, have made a documentary about the show that I did over the past year, and I'm very, very proud of it, and it's finally coming out. Uh, by the time that this episode comes out, it, tickets will be on sale. We're That's doing true. an L.A. premiere, and the next day, we're doing the online digital premiere. So if you're in the California, L.A. area, you can come in person, walk the red carpet, see me, and uh, <laughs> Standing on a not, podium, spinning. <laughs> <laughs> Gold. <laughs> oh, that would be so much fun. Make human statues of ourselves. Yeah, you should just <gasps> be on the red carpet in the middle of like the photo op spinning on a podium. I should be on the red carpet disguised as the red carpet. First person to oh. find me wins a free ticket to the red wins carpet. A free iPad. It's first oh, generation and man. it sucks, but you'll get it. It I, I barely need, works anymore. I need to get rid of shit out of my house. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to throw it away, but I don't want to give it away. It's like, I don't, I don't know what to do with it. Yeah, it's like, just, I don't really want to sell it, but... And I can't put it in the trash because it's e-waste. You get fined for that. Do you? Yeah. If oh. they find it. They just tell you that you can't put electronic waste in normal bins. You have to take it somewhere. Oh... Sean, you've been doing it again, haven't you? You've been wandering around on public networks completely unprotected. Oh, that. I thought you were talking about the other unprotected thing I was doing. Yeah, no, I've been doing that. Yeah. Just all of your information out there for grabby grabbers to grab. Raw dogging it. Just raw dogging life on the internet. I know, it's, it is my fault. I'm sorry. It's a silly thing to do. It's a silly thing to do, but... Don't you worry, because I've got some friends that can help you out over Ooh. at NordVPN. Ah, oh, I love those guys. They're wonderful. Tell me more They're about wonderful. them. I like their name. Well, listen, not only do they keep your information private from grabby grabbers that are trying to grab your stuff on the Internet, uh -huh. but they give you a ton of but they give you a ton of benefits. With their VPN. You can be anywhere in the world in the digital space with NordVPN. You got Ooh. some shows that you want to watch in a different country? Yeah, I do. <laughs> you want to buy flights and make it a little cheaper? Yeah, me, me want. <laughs> well, baby, NordVPN has got you covered. They can put you anywhere in the world. You can watch those shows. You can get better deals for flights. You can do anything you want. Oh, now I can watch all the K-dramas on my super short, cheap flight that I've always wanted. Exactly. And not only can you do it, but somebody else could if you wanted to as well because you can connect your account to up to six devices. Six devices? That's more than any friends I can count on one hand. I know. And it's not going to slow you down either. Some other VPNs, they got a little bit of lag. They got a little bit of buffering. But NordVPN has the fastest connection 
on the VPN market. Oh, all around the world, anywhere I want, fastest in the world, there's so many devices, I can't wait to live the life I've always deserved. Oh yeah, baby, and it's cheap too. NordVPN is the price of one cup of coffee per month. One cup of coffee per month? That impossible! I know. So, I want you to search deep in your heart and in your soul, and I, I want you to listen to what your heart is telling you. Where is it telling you to go? Brain leak. Brain leak. Brain leak. I, I bleed leak. It's telling me to go to nordvpn.com slash brain. That's right. Nordvpn.com slash brain. And it says, it says here on the thing that you were reading that in every purchase of two-year plan, you'll receive four months bonus for free and there's no risk with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. 30-day money-back guarantee. That's a tongue twizzler. <laughs> <laughs> if you want, don't want to get your tones twizzled and your stuff <laughs> grabbed by internet grabbers, go to nordvpn.com slash brain. <laughs> your tones twizzled. Anyway, you can go to I have to do this dot show. I have to if you do want this to. show. I have to do this dot show. Mm -hmm. Oh, I was going to get it wrong. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's coming out. I'm very, very proud of it. Um, it's going to be a fun time. My parents are coming. My brother is coming. I won't be, be there. No, because he doesn't care. Um, you know, it's this fine. is why you talk about me in therapy. <laughs> Exactly. I'll bring the cardboard cutout of you. I don't have one. Oh. I used to. You can get it on Amazon. Oh, I should. I would like to go, I but I think we have a lot of stuff going on in October, and I can't travel at that time. I would like to go, but I just uh, don't care. I'd like to go, but I don't want to. <laughs> I just I just simply don't want to. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's going to be fun. I'm very, very proud of it. Uh, it'll be really cool. Um, and the LA premiere is going to be really fun and special. We have a lot of cool things planned. We're getting cardboard cutouts made of me and Spencer. And paintball. Yeah, we're doing, we're doing paintball right before. That's the red carpet. <laughs> you just go turn blister red. <laughs> red paintballs, red splotches on you. But it's going to be fun. You can dress up if you'd like. You can even dress up for the digital online premiere if you want. You can dress up at any time ever. It's true. You can do whatever you want. True. This is also true. You might just get arrested in some places. That is also true. But yeah, go. Am have I? fun. As someone who released a documentary and feels like I didn't promote it enough and didn't make it special enough for the actual launch of it, I think it's important yeah. to do. I watched your documentary recently. Oh. Thanks. I bought it on iTunes. Hell yeah, you did. I was on the front Hell page yeah, of did. iTunes for a whole half a day. <laughs> Hell yeah, baby. And that was a uh, fucking nightmare to release because it was like, we can't do all territories at once because some places have different laws than the other ones, so we have to like roll it out. And I was like, oh, can we just wait for it to be ready everywhere? And they're like, well, we kind of like got the slot for iTunes already. And I was like, man, this is annoying. Um, It's a very good documentary. Thank you. Yeah. I'm sure yours it's is good great. too. I'm excited to see it. I'm very, oh, it's been I'm so in fun. It. You're in it. You're, uh, I'm very excited for the LA premiere because I think that just like knowing the audience that I have and that we have, like, it's, they're very excited. You guys are all very excited. So I think it's going to be kind of like a, like a Marvel movie in the sense that whenever somebody notable comes on screen, everyone's going to cheer and stuff. <laughs> yeah. And I like uh, all of them. All of the, like, interviews with, like, you and Mark and Aaron and stuff, it's usually, like, you walking into screen and sitting down. Yeah. So I'm excited for, like, the, ah, there it is! The Einstein-Oppenheimer moment. Uh-huh. I'm sitting um, there and my hat flies off, and I'm like, oh, my <sighs> God! <laughs> <laughs> we should have done that. Yeah, <laughs> we're so fucking stupid. Oh, we hadn't seen Oppenheimer then. Oh, that's true. Although the we trailers were out, and that was in the trailer. I uh, I texted you a photo of it the other day, but mm. um, we are today we are doing our last session at the color house where they do all of the color correction and color grading. Yeah, so it's um, just a house that has a lot of color. Yeah, they're just like look at 
Roji Biv, baby. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> thank you for coming. That'll let's be go to the club tonight. Let's do coke at the color house. <laughs> the color house. <laughs> <laughs> um, for those of you that don't know, I'm sure that most of you do, but, um, you know, movies are usually recorded in a very flat, gross looking color we, profile. We, we talked about this already. We did talk about this. Yeah. yeah. But we're, we're going to a place and they're doing all the color and they have this, they have this giant console. It's Ooh. so cool. It kind of looks like. Like a big uh, Xbox or like PS5 or. No, it kind of looks like, um, what are those boxes that you would play like. The controllers that you would play like Mortal Kombat or like Tekken on that have like, like the joysticks cabinet? and stuff. Kinda, yeah. It's just like a big console with a bunch of dials. It's like being in a recording studio, mm. but there's more like wheels and stuff. But it's so sick. They and don't it's all do built any, into They the don't desk. do anything. It's just for ADHD. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Coloring's so fucking boring. Wee! <laughs> That's kind of what it's like. And I'm just like, oh, what are you doing with all these buttons and knobs? I want to touch all of them. Oh, um, I love color grading. Well, I don't like doing it, but so I love whenever something has a good color grade. I'm I'm such a fan of like blue shadows and like gray mm. sort of like flat light. I, I, I uh -huh. don't know how to describe it, but that like realistic, because real life light is fucking boring as all hell. Yeah. But that like really like, like diffuse. It's like washed out. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, I know exactly what you're talking about because you put a little blues in the shadows and then, and then you raise the, the blacks. So yeah. they're, they've got a little gray and like a little, yeah, yeah it, it has like a, a grayish, bluish kind of tint to mm -hmm. stuff. I'm sure there's like a very specific look that that's called. Yeah. Um, a lot of movies just go for that fucking teal and orange shit. Mm hmm. Like, I get yeah. it, it looks nice, there's a reason for it, but man, everything looks like that. We we do that in one section of the movie, which is, there's like a satirical sketch that's mm. in the that's in the film. Uh, which, now that I'm saying that out loud, seems very out of place for what the movie is, but it's funny and it makes sense for the moment. But in that, um, we, were, we were in the color session and... Uh, Marcelo is the name of the colorist. He's a fucking awesome dude. Shout out Mario. Um, uh, shout out Marcelo. Close. <laughs> um, but we, uh, oh, we told him to Michael Bay the shit out of it. Oh. And he's just made, he's just made everyone look orange. Yeah, it's Jesus. so good. Skin tones? Um, never heard of them. Never heard of those, baby. But it's so cool because he does all of this magic. And when you go in at first, it's like, yeah, this looks fine. Like what you, the normal stuff looks like. Mm. And then he does it and he's like, okay, this is what I've done. And this was before. And it's like, that, that looks terrible before. And you made it look what like a real movie. What are we doing? What the fuck were we doing? You <sighs> should just have your lighting good in the first place. And then you won't have to color grade at all. That's true. Just get the lights, like, put a blue in the dark area. Create a fake sun. Put orange on your head. <sighs> Save yourself so much time. We Why don't movies do this? Fucked it up. I sent you a picture of it, but your yeah. shots look so pretty. Yeah. So, so pretty. Well, that's because I'm in them. <laughs> yeah. I know. I know. This, uh... This forehead of mine. Oh. It reflects so much light. Yeah, whenever I pull my hair back like this, I'm like, I'm not receding, right? <laughs> I'm like, no, you have a good hairline. I was like, my hairline's still good because my dad was bald, and I'm like, I'm it just feels like it's a matter of time. If you pull your hair back too often, it like pull on the front of mm -hmm. your head. So I'm like trying to leave it loose. And no, you have a good hairline. You have a small little widow's peak. Thank you. I like it. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. Who who is she married to? Huh? Ah. <sighs> We'll Why is it called a widow's peak? I don't know. This is where the conversation is going now. Sorry. Yeah, that's fine. Widow's that's peak. Why fun. name? Why name widow's peak? I know what it is. I just want to know why it called. Fuck it, idiots. Ooh. Gary Cooper had a distinctive widow's peak. You sure did. I don't know what Gary Cooper is. I don't know either. It's just a black and white picture of a man. Oh, I think you would wear a headdress that had like a peak in it. Oh, yeah. Oh. 
Sorry. That, I get it that went way higher than I meant it to. Oh! Um, yeah, we got a great shot of that widow's peak. It's great. Your Thank brown you. hair blends in with the with the with the lushness in the background and all the all the silky browns in the in the shot really pop and we were using this cool lens and so it's got this cool effect. You look so pretty. Thank you. You look you just look gorgeous on Blow film, me up to baby. 70 mil, baby. Oh, Put me on baby. the big screen. Oh, we've been doing this cool thing with the highlights. We've been doing like this bloom effect. So everything has this like hazy, like, mm. like kind of like diffused look like you were talking about, but only in the highlights. So it's like. Kind of like a dreamy look. look. Yeah, it's so cool. Yeah, I it's like that. fucking awesome. It's sick, baby. Anyway, I'm excited about Check it. Check out his documentary. It'll be cool. I was thinking about this time. yesterday. I was walking down the street mm. with Evelyn. I even wrote it down on mm -hmm. my phone to bring it up on the podcast. Mm. Birds talk a lot of shit. Mm -hmm. You ever just walking down the street and you hear birds and it's like, imagine if people were like birds. It's like just birds sitting on rooftops and it's like on the off, like somebody says something and you're just like, yeah, me too. Me too. Uh-huh. Yeah. Or it's like, Anybody want to fuck? Anybody? I was just about I was just about to say that. Isn't it mostly for fucking? Probably. Because, because they're just like, like, hey. Imagine if people did that. You're just walking down the street and you're just like, yeah, so my granddad's not doing well. Anybody in the area want to fuck, by the way? I'm available. Yeah, we might have to That's kind of what catcalling is. <laughs> we might have to pull the plug soon. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's true. We're like fucking male yeah. peacocks. Mm -hmm. Except instead mm -hmm. of putting on an extravagant, beautiful display, they're just fat, balding, and ignorant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, hey, baby. I said that to Evelyn as well. I was like, you always see those TikToks where it's talking about, like, how many times have you been, like, harassed on the street today? And they're like, or how many mm -hmm. times have you been harassed in the last week? Or when was the last time? I was like, this morning, actually, on my way here. And I was like, man, that kind of sucks. And Evelyn's like, yeah, when I went to, like, meet you... When you were at the coffee shop one day, I got catcalled on the way down. And I was like, huh? In Brighton? It's like, mm -hmm. everyone's so nice here. She's like, no, it happens all the time. I'm like, oh. Yep. On time, every day. It's fucked. It's fucked up. It's fucked up. It's like, do you do it because you think on the off chance that this might work? Because I'm sure in the vast fathomable universe, there's probably some people that are into that kind of thing. I think about that sometimes where I'm like... Why would you think that that would work? Yeah, it's like, has it worked in the past and that's why you're doing it? Or are you just hoping that it works? On the off chance I, of that, 0.01% of people that are into that are walking on the street. I felt bad a, a, a while back now, but I saw somebody, I was driving down the street and I saw somebody wearing one of my hoodies. And so I yelled out of the car and I was like, nice hoodie. And they like turned away and I was like, nice, nice. Nice hoodie! Nice! And then I was like, look at me! <laughs> and then after, and they were like, oh shit, hi, blah! And then after I was like, oh, they probably thought I was fucking crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Just like cat calling them. Hey, nice tits! Nice tits! <laughs> hey! In the, in the hoodie, me. in the hoodie, I mean. Nice ass! <laughs> look at me! <laughs> hey, baby! It's like, oh, it's Craig Gameplays! Hey, actually, that is how... A lot of YouTubers do it, but digitally. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just I messaging messaging their fans being like, hey, uh, uh, nice tits. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it's like, excuse me, what? I mean, hi. <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, thank you so much for your support. I really uh, appreciate it. Thank you. Nice tits. <laughs> thank you. Some people just uh, can't help themselves. It's like, hey, maybe shut the fuck up. Actually, not maybe. It's just like unequivocally shut the fuck up. You know, uh, relating them back to birds, those kind of people should be like woodpeckers and just slam their face into <laughs> hard surfaces. Well, woodpeckers don't hurt themselves because their tongues wrap all the way back up and around their brains to cushion Dude, that, it. That thing's crazy. Yeah. What that it's fucking. fucking what that cushion what? do? <laughs> what? Imagine the ass eating that the woodpecker could do. <laughs> The sheer speed of it. The speed of it. The woodpecker. The the humming. Does the hummingbird use a little tongue? Hummingbird has a little tongue, right? Yeah, it sucks out nectar. It has to do that yeah. a thousand times a day, apparently. 
or else it'll it's die. It's crazy. There was a hummingbird in my yard the other day, and I didn't see it because it was zooming around but i thought i was going crazy because i could hear it and it was just like yeah i thought weird. it was like a swarm of bees <laughs> <laughs> they're so cool though i saw a tiktok they're about so... hummingbirds and bees and how they like fight each other over flowers and then it started what? raining and the hummingbird was like ha, dodged it dodged it and then the bees were just getting annihilated by raindrops <laughs> <laughs> and they were putting sound effects over it, like the bee got hit and it was like <laughs> <laughs> It's like, <laughs> like old, like, World War II dog fights. Yeah, like the fights. fucking Blitzkrieg <laughs> siren. Like, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that fucking so right of the Valkyries in the background. Uh, it's so cool. Nature's fucking crazy. Have you ever looked at the subreddit? I think it's called, like, Nature is Metal or something. Yeah, it makes me sad sometimes, though. Because <laughs> it's like yeah. an anaconda eating an alligator, and I'm like, that just seems uncomfortable for both of you. <laughs> Yeah, for, for anybody with a weak stomach, maybe don't look at it, but for anybody who doesn't mind, it's a crazy subreddit of pretty much just animals killing each other it's because like, it's nature. You know that scene in Jurassic Park where the T-Rex eats the Gallimimus and the kid's like, so much blood, and he like leans up yeah. into it? I think all the people who are watching that are that kid who are yeah. on that subreddit are just like, whoa, sick, but gross. <laughs> it's crazy. I think about that with snakes sometimes where I'm like, you, I mean, you gotta eat, but how do you how do you think that you're gonna fit that whole thing in your mouth? You do, but why do you think that you're just gonna eat that? Like me with a Subway sandwich. It's like, here we go. No, how's, it's, how's that working? <laughs> it's like you with a Subway sandwich the size of a person, though. It's like, what part of your brain is like, I'm gonna eat that whole thing? Yeah, when people are like, man, I'm so hungry, I could eat a horse. The snake's like, I'm gonna. I'm doing it. <laughs> Watch this! <laughs> <laughs> the snake gets offended. Fucking poser. I will eat the horse. Yeah, hooves and all, bitch. Stomach acid uh, like fucking battery acid. <laughs> it's so insane. It's fucking crazy. And then it's Snakes like, freak me out. Yeah, they just fucking puke up a bunch of bones and shit out a bunch of stuff. And then they're like, I don't have to eat for a whole month. <laughs> they, f they freak me out. Big snakes freak me out a little bit. Why wouldn't they? I They're don't know. from the old world. They're here long they before us and they'll be here long after. Like Titanoboa. Ever read about Titanoboa? Is that like the Megalodon of snakes? Yes, exactly the Megalodon of snakes. Everything used to be so big. Because so the oxygen big. content was different, right? It was crazy back then. It was crazy. It was crazy back then. <laughs> it was crazy back then. There were no rules. Snakes grew as big as they wanted. 14.3 meters? Yeah. Big boys. That's big boys. Fucking, okay, for all you fucking feet freaks. All you Americans <laughs> are just foot fetishists. <laughs> you feet freaks. All you feet freaks. 14 meters is 45 feet. Yeah. It's nuts. Somebody Huge. had to put that snake down and then, like, put his feet one in front of the other and be like, one, two... 14, 45. <laughs> you know, I don't want to, I don't want to piss off any dinos. But you're going to, so like just that. do it. Don't preface it. Don't yeah. be a little bitch. Just fucking get stuck in, know. offend people. But you know, I'm glad that the asteroid hit. Took care of all the big snake. Took care of all the scary ass dinosaurs that we didn't want around. Took care. Oh, took care of all the crazy fucking bugs. The <laughs> dragonflies that were like 10 feet wide yeah. took care of those. Took care of the centipedes that were like 40 years long. Like in King Kong, directed by Peter Jackson, that big bug scene. Remember that? 40 years? Yeah. It's it, not a unit of length. Back that's then like, it was. You weren't like there. It's like in Star Wars where it's like he did it in 14 parsecs. It's like, that's... What's a parsec? That's not a measurement of time. It's distance. <laughs> It's fucking crazy. Wait, yeah. is a parsec a real thing? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was a made-up thing. I think it's a certain amount of light years. Oh my. A unit of distance used in astronomy equal to about 3.26 light years. I don't know why oh. it's that. It's 3.086 times 1,013 kilometers. It doesn't... I'm sure there's a very real... One parsec corresponds to the distance at which the mean radius of the Earth's orbit... Subtends an angle, or I've lost interest. Yeah, I can't do it. Oh, I just. Why is everything frozen? There we go. 
I'm back. Are we back? Oh. Well, dude, we are so back. We are so back. We are so back. But not like the dinosaurs. They died because of the asteroid. And yeah, I'm happy about it. fuck. Not only is it great that they died and we got to take over. Fucking shout out destroyers of Earth. <laughs> mm -hmm. One one species to rule them all, am I right? Check out my look ring. But I think it's great that they got killed because we got to look at a cool event and speculate upon it. And then be like, where'd the asteroid mm -hmm. hit? Like, we got to learn about an asteroid hitting Earth and get none of the repercussions for it. You know, I think it's good that the asteroid hit because um, if if the asteroid didn't hit, we probably wouldn't have TikTok, you know? That's true. We wouldn't have cool slime to play with. We wouldn't have huh? fucking titties. No. So, thank your, thank your lucky stars that one of those stars came crashing towards Earth. That everything. is not how asteroids work. Oh, no, it's how they work. <laughs> How they were. How is it fucking. We look at the stars and most of them are dead. How do these things work? How do we find out these things? How do we find out information? I keep going. I, I like barely this. know how to. I barely know how to tie my shoes. How did we figure out how to make a camera see a thing? There's screens in front of an electric. What's the internet? What's I the point of it. it all? Burn it! Burn <laughs> society! <laughs> Eat, eat the I, rich. <laughs> I don't understand. I I don't get it. This is coming full circle back around to the very start of this episode, which is like how it, it went from like cavemen walking around and he was like, oh, tool, bong, bong, bong. That makes sense. But how did he learn how to make fire? Let's get back to that for a second, because the way I learned how to make fire is rubby stick, rubby, rubby, mm -hmm. burn, burn, or thicky, thicky, spark, spark. There's no fucking way John Neanderthal learned how to do that. I don't know. Like, he I saw no lightning idea. hit a tree, and he was like, oh, that's warm and nice, and... How would I be able to do that? There's Because no there's way. so much... Because it, it, you you have to do it for such a long time. Yeah. You know, you have to, you have to rub the stick together for such a long time. And that's knowing that it has to be dry, and you need, like, tinder. And then you know... Uh, it, it's not instinctual. No. Right? No. Because we didn't, uh, they didn't know yet. So it's not going to be like, we're, oh, we're, the we're fear of fire. It burns. Exactly. Hurt. Because, because at first you see the little smoke, you see the tiny little, little ember, your instincts aren't going to kick in and say, oh, I need to provide oxygen to that little ember to turn it into a flame. That's not, <laughs> we have to have Neil deGrasse Tyson on here to, be kind of a dick and explain it to I don't like him. I don't like him. He's just going to explain it <laughs> condescendingly and talk about when he was on the Big Bang Theory, and I just don't care. <laughs> you should have a cool sound. More like Neil to ass Tyson. Fucking, oh, you fucking God. Imagine him being dude. so smart and you still can't read a room. <laughs> 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 I feel like that with so many like really smart like billionaire dudes. It's like, dude, read the fucking room. No one cares. How do you get people you to like you? You can read that equation. You can't read this fucking room, can you? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Man, all them books and learning that you did, all that reading that you can't read the fucking room, bitch. <laughs> all them books and damn they did. And then I fucking <laughs> pound a Modelo and <laughs> right off into the sunset. <laughs> no, you pound a Mortal Kombat one beer or whatever. Flawless it is. victory, is it? New England pale ale. Oh, New England. My hometown. No, that's not. You guys are just frauds. Ah. Actually, I I don't I don't live here. I just go here. <laughs> I just I'm not go from here. here. I don't want to be. York. I don't want to be from here. I'm a I'm a filthy traitor. I left Ireland and went to England, and everyone's mad at me for it. Everyone's. I had my accent change, and it didn't even change into like oh fun little British boy. It just became more Americanized, and I fucking hate it. It's just more and more vague. At least you guys over there you, have shitty accents. So when it changes, yeah. no one cares. Well, mine we, was delightful. Uh, our accents suck. I hate the way we sound over here. I want to sound cool. What's... You know how people are like, oh, British accents are so fun, and Irish accents are so... Well, it was rated sexiest accent in the world, and I feel like no one from Ireland would ever say that. How's it going, boy? How are, you, how are you doing? You got a fucking smoke, do you? Irish accent was rated the sexiest accent in the world? Yep. <sighs> I like the Irish accent, but I don't agree with that at all. People love the Irish accent. We're charmers. 
Because we say words like charm and car. Well, was it a specific one? Because it wasn't Dublin. No, that's the thing. And my Irish accent is from the Midlands, and everyone's like, ew. <laughs> is it just Killian Murphy? Because he has a nice accent. But his accent is also kind of faded. His accent's Dublin. Is it? Kind of. But he's so soft. His words are so Actually, soft. no, his accent is from Cork, but it's... Oh, Cork. Un unadulterated Cork accent is like, no one's voting for that as sexiest in the world. Mm. That sounds like you chewed stones and then just tried to speak English around it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what they're like. If you think of an Irish accent, what's the stereotypical one that everyone likes is? Oh, it's probably more I'm... like, no, not really Western. It's probably just like a blend of everything, honestly. Yeah. A nice blend. But what is, what, is there an American accent that people in America is like, that's kind of a nice accent, actually. I wish I had that accent. Um, hmm. That, I mean, it's all kind of subjective, but a lot of people like, like more subtle Southern accents, I think, mm. because there's a part of it that, like, there's a part of it that thinks that like Southern equals like hospitality and like, like a cozy, warm. Yeah. And so it's like a certain, a certain kind of Southern accent is like, oh, that's gentle. And they'll like the, the Charleston draw instead of yeah. the, hey, come on down to Nebraska. We got but, 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 but. I don't, Nebraska's not in the South, is it? No. <laughs> what's yeah, the, but what's that, the worst Southern state? The worst southern state? Um, I would say Alabama has probably one of the worst reputations. That's true. And Florida. Yeah, and Florida. But you don't really you don't really think even though it kind of is the most southern state, I don't really think of Florida as a southern state. Mm. You know? Because when I think of the South, I think of like Texas. Texas and Mississippi. Like and Middle South. Alabama. Yeah. Because nobody, a lot of people in Florida don't have like a Southern accent. Yeah. Um, but isn't it like, isn't it like South Carolina and then Florida? Uh, I believe Georgia is above Florida. Yeah. And they're all considered South. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Georgia's in the South. And like Florida is South, but I just don't, I, I think a lot of people don't. Have the thing of like Florida is a southern state because yeah there's no southern accent. I think that but, that drawl sound that mm -hmm. is so southern drawl so kind of like desired is because it's like an older sound. Mm -hmm. It's like it's like Arthur Morgan. Yeah, it's like the Wild like, West, oh. like older America when things were easier, not so well, not the easier. Wild West. It's like it's like the romanticized version, mm -hmm. and everyone's like, oh, it's so capitalistic now, and it's like. You had slaves back then. It was worse. <laughs> I th I think that the on the other side, the least desired accent is I would I would probably say Boston. Honestly, yeah, <laughs> either Boston or New York. Like they're fun to no, do. New York is desired. I'd say. Really, people who are from New York really are proud they're from New York. Oh, New York, don't say anything bad about New York to a New York. Yeah, you mess with one of us, you mess with all of us. Sam Raimi taught me that. Yes. That's so true. That's I think, so true. and from like an Careful, outsider, a hero. outsider's perspective, I think New York is like, it's, New York and Boston are quirky enough that they're desirable because it makes mm. you sound unique. I think the one that's least desirable from my point of view is like the California vocal fry valley accent. Oh, yeah. Because that's yeah. the one that's like the pretentious one that everyone's like, like you don't sound like, it's weird to say it this way. It's like you don't sound like the blue collar worker, like the everyman kind of thing, like you work hard kind of life. I um, would agree with that, actually. I think that that is the least desired one is the like California Valley. Yeah. And I think it also goes back to like New York's accent sounds old and like there's a lot of history with it and the culture behind it. But Valley accent is like that feels new and like pompous and... I don't know. That's just the vibe I get personally. But I hate but I all think, Americans equally. <laughs> but I think my favorite American accent is a Midwest 
accent. Me like too. Wisconsin or, or Minnesota. What the gersh. Oh, boy, how you doing? How you doing? What oh. the H-E double hockey sticks is going on? Oh, hey there. It's you so know, fun. they're just harmless out there. You know, that is We're a just very fun accent. Dinner. That's everyone who has that accent is a forty-year-old mom to me. Oh, me and Susan are gonna go to Mall of America this weekend. You should join us. We're gonna get some cheese. Oh, <laughs> oh boy, Dude, go to a little out, baseball game after. Shout out Wisconsin, the fucking cheeseheads. Cheese. Oh, we got cheese curds. We got cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I found out when I was there. I was like, oh, like. Cheese heads, oh, they're big cheese people here, and like they wear the hats of the wedge of cheese mm-hmm. and all that kind of stuff. And then I was like, they were like, yeah, it's like a little Germany here. It's like, what? <laughs> they're like <laughs> little Germany. Yeah, it's like like Dutch German like cheese ancestry. And I was like, oh, because uh-huh. all the settlers probably came over and went there and settler. I say settlers as if it was a nice thing. <laughs> they just came <laughs> over and settled there. It was fine. They just. They just they just settled down here. They didn't do you know, anything little, bad. They didn't kill any indigenous people. They just came and settled down. <laughs> made a little home here. Oh, yeah. Oh, you betcha. Oh, what's that? We'll go out and uh, kill all the others and take the land for ourselves. <laughs> it's kind of, Midwest is kind of like a mix of like Canadian and Irish a little bit. Yeah. And even, you know. there's some parts of Canada like uh, Cape Breton. Was that it? That I was talking to those people at that wedding we were at, and I was like, you sound Irish to me. You sound more Irish than I do. And they're like, we're Cape Bretoners. That's not how they sounded, but I'm stuck in Wisconsin Oh, I know now. who you're talking about now. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And I know I was specifically like, the person you're talking about. Yeah, and I was like, you Irish. sound so Irish to me. Yeah. It's cool. Yep, yep, yep. Canada's got a lot of, got a lot of accents. Like I- Quebec. Oh, we the get French it. You Canadian? know the provinces. Just say it. Just ream them off. Oh, I was just saying, I mean, Quebec is just like, you know, that's where all the French Canadians are. Yeah, that's true. Nobody knows what they sound like. I can do all of them, though. I think. Let's, Go for it. let's find out. Okay. There's 10 provinces. I'll, I'll count. I'll put a finger Three down. Three territories. Put a finger down for every province. Put a finger down challenge. Okay. Okay. So, there's, I and I don't know. I don't think I know the difference between the provinces and the territories. Maybe I do. That's totally fine. Okay. Okay. We're ready? Uh, British Columbia. <sighs> Alberta. Saskatchewan. Ontario. Quebec. Uh, P-E-I. Pi. <laughs> P-E-I. Yeah. Prince Edward Island. Four to go. Did I say New Brunswick? Did I say New Brunswick? Nope. Brunswick? Uh, uh, Nova Scotia. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah. Wait, <laughs> there's two. Okay, hold on. Uh, what am I missing? Alberta. There's a pinky BC, and a ring finger left. Alberta, BC, Ontario. Hold on. Hold on, I can do this. I know this is riveting content. Oh, Newfoundland. Mm-hmm. Manitoba. Yukon. You're still going, and I put down ten fingers. <laughs> Northwest Territories, and none of it. None of it? Because there's, yep, there's there's ten territories, three province, or ten provinces, three territories. Why is it called none of it? I don't know. It's like calling a place no man's land. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't, I didn't make the names. Why is Antarctica hey. called that? Why? Why? Why anything? <coughs> First of all, well done. Three cheers for Thank Ethan. Thank you. He did I it. Know. He proved himself. Before my ADHD takes Canada. over and I move on to something else. I'm a true Canada. He'll never Canada. He'll never Canada. He'll never do it. Speaking of Antarctica, though, mm-hmm. I saw a video of a horrifying creature. We were talking about horrifying creatures earlier. Yes. Have you ever seen a leopard seal? I feel like I have. Jimmy, pull it up. They're spooky looking, dude. They look Whoa. almost like... They look like a mix between like a seal and a snake. They're so weird. They are so aggressive. They'll fuck you up so much. 
Dude, we gotta I we gotta put this fucking image up on the video version cause wowzers. This, which one I wanna look, see? Look which at one. this fucker. I know. He's got They're scary. Teeth. They're scary. They're super aggressive. They'll kill everything. They'll kill your whole They'll fucking family. I've seen leopard seals before, but like from different angles and never in like the scary version that they are here. Yeah, they got giant teeth. They're super aggressive. They're insane. They look like snakes. Dude, I bet an orca would still fuck it up. I think so, but I think that maybe I don't know if I don't know if they would. I don't know if they would because they're so aggressive. That's true. That I don't know. Maybe if, the orcas would be like, I oh, don't. Maybe maybe it's not worth it. It's like I'm not gonna eat the food that bites back. Do orcas eat leopard seals? Hold on. I wanted to download a picture and save it and show it to you, and it was a web p, and I. I am so close to just leaving and ending everything right now. Ah, <laughs> uh, orcas are currently the only recognized predator of the leopard seal. So not only do they do they actually fuck with it, they're the only thing that fucks they're with it. They're the only thing that fucks with it. Leopard seals are the third largest seal. The third largest? There's bigger ones? It's the two other ones. <laughs> I'm looking at facts of the leopard seals, and it's like, they are the third largest seal in the world. They are exceptionally, you know, exceptionally solitary animals. They are extremely aggressive. Uh, sometimes they smile. <laughs> Why is that a fact on here? Oh, elephant seals are the largest. The ones that have the oh. big flap on their face, and they go... Arr, 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 arr. Leopard seals have been known to feed on humans. Hell yeah! Sick. Fight back! Sick. Damn, dude, humans Damn, have been dude. humans have been riding too high for too long. We need to be taken down a peg. Okay, ideal animal to conquer the human race. Ooh, <sighs> we're having our our Jurassic Park, like the animals are are claiming back. You know, the dinosaurs are fucking killing everybody. But it's animals on Earth. I want ants. Ah! I had a feeling that you were going to say that. That's horrible. Why? Because they're just more structured. It feels like if they were any bigger, we would not be dominant. I feel like they're they're like they go in. They there's like a pheromone of like dead ants, and they like pick it up and throw it in a graveyard, and they build tunnels, and they have a queen, and they like they follow the same trails, and you can like. They're just so organized. I feel like if they were if there were ants the size of like bears, we'd be dead already. They can lift like what a hundred times their own weight. They're so cool. Yeah, but you want to get killed by a bunch of ants? I'm not saying what I want to get killed by. I just think that they have the best shot. They do. They There's do so if they wanted to. Many of them. Let's just if they let, wanted to, they would. Yeah, let's just be happy they stay in their holes. Let's just mm -hmm. be happy that they stay in the ant hills and they don't make ant hills out of people. I remember uh, the shitty Indiana Jones movie, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Yeah, that one lady gets gets eaten by ants, and I think about that a lot. Yeah, that's they, my Roman Empire. They can like spew acid. They can like spit it at you. They have a like the bullet ants have a crazy bite. They have wings. Ah, oh, I forget about that. Ants have everything. They've got it all. They're way They've more organized than us. They don't care about God. politics. Do you no. think there's like one ant that's out there going, China? <laughs> and everyone's like, oh, China. God, shut up. God, ants could do their taxes so fast. They wouldn't they need know, to do taxes. They, they, would, they would rise above economy. God. You ever, see, you ever see a fucking ant with a $20 bill? No, doesn't happen. Damn, ants are kind of like the ultimate communist. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Aren't they? Everybody's yeah, it's, it's not, we're not working for each other, or we're not working for ourselves, we're working for the mound. It's our mound. Yeah, our mound. Well, I guess they do have the queen, though. Yeah, and if she dies, they all so, die, so it's kind of... Yeah, still the monarchy a little bit. So, that, uh, yeah, you know, it's still, can't really have communism it's, with a queen. Still a, still a flawed system, but... Yeah, you know, trickle, they're, they're trickle down out. antinomics, basically. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. But imagine being killed by ants. They swarm into your mouth and through all of your orifices. That's horrible. 
What would you want to be killed by then? What do you want to take over the world? I don't know. Something that'll kill me quicker. Something like, that'll... There's lots like of a, things that can kill you quick already, but do they have the capacity to take over the world? Like, you could say, oh, a bear... Actually, bears don't kill you quickly. They will maul you in several pieces. But like, if a bear killed you, and then... Like, bears aren't going to take over the world. Full circle. Seagulls taking over the world. That's true. That is the worst timeline. They steal your sandwiches, then they steal your fucking guts. That's why they're laughing on the roofs up there. They're like, just you wait. Ham, ham, ham. <laughs> or some other That's seagull. a really good impression of a seagull. Some laugh. other seagull is like, dude, what has two legs and is stupid? Human. <laughs> <laughs> and then some of them are just like, <laughs> That's it's all like they're doing. The they're Jimmy just Carr of birds. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Oh, man. Or that one seagull meme where it like re pulls his head back and it's like, Fuck yeah! <laughs> seagulls, uh, the ultimate predator. The ultimate predator. The like, only predator to the leopard seal. I, I don't trust any animal that kills stuff from its own genus. Like, yeah. A seagull killing a pigeon? Or like spiders mm -hmm. that eat other spiders? Spiders mm -hmm. would rule the world. And they would make spider oh. structures. God. They would have such big giant spider webs to dominate all of humanity and then they would just be like, whatever bitch. Although, I saw a TikTok this morning when I woke up and it was wasps in the desert killing spiders. Ooh. And do you, do you kill spiders when you see spiders in your house? No. Neither when, do I. When I was younger, I used to like pick them up and show them to my sister. I'd be like, ha, mm -hmm. you're scared. And now I'm like, mm -hmm. I did that. That's fucked. <laughs> yeah. I I shoo them away. I was cleaning out my garage recently, and there's a bunch of spiders in there, and so I, I got them all out of there. But how do you sh how do you shoo a spider away? A leaf blower. <laughs> <laughs> I do the opposite of that, which is a vacuum, and it goes into the Dyson, and yeah. it's like running around, and then I'm like, out you go. <laughs> yeah, I suck them all up. I suck them all up in there. Oh, I suck but off so many spiders. I saw a video recently of a guy who milked spiders for their for their web and he made a guitar string out of spider web. This guy sounds like a psychopath. Yeah, it was kind of weird. He went to Madagascar and got a bunch of spiders and then like You're milking the spiders, spiders for down. silk? He got 6 kilometers of spider web and then like twisted it all together and made Dude, a guitar string. Dude, he's fucking He's jerking off spiders night and day to get that. Yeah, and it doesn't harm the spider, apparently, to milk the spiders. But it felt weird. For the spiders? Probably, yeah. They're like, yeah, stop. Yeah, because you're basically like, just no, like stop. pulling out the whip. Stop milking me. No, stop it. Stop. stop. That's got to feel weird. They're just pulling out the... It's like someone pulling out a bunch of snot. Yeah, or like when you eat spaghetti as a kid, and then you swallow it, and then you pull it back out. And it's like... Oh. Lil. You ever do that? It's like, watch uh -huh. this. It's like, oh, 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 I'm going to gag thinking about it. Do you ever get worried about injuries for yourself because you haven't gotten hurt in a while? And yeah. you're like, man, I'm due. I'm, I'm due for it. I've never broken a bone, so I'm like terrified that mm -hmm. when I do break one, it's like it stacks. Like every yeah. year you don't break a bone, it's a bigger bone is going to break. So it's like yep. if I ever do break one, it's going to be like a femur. Yeah, I'm afraid of it. I've been thinking about it recently. I'm like, I haven't gotten hurt in a while. Something's going to happen. <laughs> You're facing your own mortality. 30s Something's creeping up. You're about to be 27 soon. You're like, man, it can all just be over in an instant, huh? Mm -hmm. It really can. It really can. <laughs> I'm due for it. I don't know. I, I get worried. I don't want to break a bone. I drank a lot of milk as a kid. Just straight milk, which I love that mm -hmm. Vine or video or TikTok where it's like, you don't even put stuff in it. You don't even put chocolate <laughs> stuff do. in it. Are where you it's a like criminal? The roommates. <laughs> yeah. It's like the exact it's same like, energy as the Wicked Witch of the West guy. Yeah. Where it's like he's actually upset and he's yeah. like, stop drinking milk. Yeah. You don't even <laughs> put stuff in it. Like chocolate <laughs> stuff. Are, are you a criminal? 
Is, was that a ploy from Big Milk? Does it actually make your, like... Yeah, it's just calcium yeah, it's in got, it. But and, hasn't it been proven that we shouldn't really drink milk from other mammals? Well, that's the thing. I don't, I, I don't know. I think technically you're not supposed to drink milk uh, later on. There's so many humans that are lactose intolerant now, but there is calcium and vitamin D, and vitamin D helps you absorb calcium. Technically, that makes your bones stronger. But as a kid, I was like, I'm invincible. I drink a pint of milk with dinner every day. So I I'm, I'm milk. fucking invulnerable. Now I don't mm -hmm. drink any milk. I don't drink I a pint drink of milk. I used to drink milk all the time. I used to, a little milk and coffee sometimes, maybe. But and now it's like almond and oat. It's like stop making that my almond? bones stronger. Makes my almond stronger. Oh. I got super age. strong oat on me right now. God, well, my oats are fucking ripped. Hit me. Hit me. Hit me in the oats. <laughs> Hit me in the oats right now. I dare you. <laughs> it's like, oh, that wasn't my oats. <laughs> oh. I triple dog dare you. <laughs> where, where are your oats? Actually, you sow your oats, so it's probably your testicles. Uh, it probably is. That's where the seam, right, right in between the seam. <laughs> the seam. Yeah. You ever noticed that your ball sack has like a stitching in it? <laughs> yeah. It has like a. Who did that? It has like a ridge going down the middle of it to be like, this is where we like fused it together. Yeah. That as it's someone there. who as someone who paints miniatures, we call that the mold line. <laughs> <laughs> and you have to take like an exacto knife and like scrape it off. I should be scraping my nutsack. <gasps> oh, Get sanding sand it down. Sandpaper. Man, do a little spit shine. Oh, no, do that. Fuck yeah! I Con did that a lot. Put some contrast paint on that. <laughs> Damn. Edge highlight. Put a cool, a nice finish. Yeah. Put some fucking <sighs> edge highlights, some glaze on that. You could vinyl wrap your balls if you wanted to. Dude. You shrink wrap hydro, them. Hydro dip your balls. <laughs> <laughs> Do Dude, a nice carbon fiber wrap. Tie-dye testicles. <laughs> <laughs> Literally just teabagging your balls and then being like, look at that. Fucking Roy G. Biv. <laughs> How... Have neither of us ever thought of doing temporary tattoos on our balls? That's oh. so funny. That's so funny. We can't show them to anybody. Show them to each, each other. other. Yeah, but it's like, look at that henna. And that's, and that's a funny bit. And you're like, temporary tattoos. <laughs> 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 it's like, oh, oh, oh. What? yeah. Rubs right Temp off. Temporary? Oh, fuck, fuck, God. Fuck. I'm going to go out and do that today. I'm going to go and get a thing of temporary tattoos. I'm going to temporary tattoo my balls because that's my, funny. My balls. <laughs> my balls. It's funny. And then I'm going to go get a physical from my doctor. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> that, tattoo, your, tattoo, tattoo your prostate. <laughs> that's such a funny bit. Fuck with your doctor a little bit. Do a temporary tattoo on your balls. <laughs> that is so good. Why is there three A's in the way you said balls? That's objectively silly. <laughs> objectively <laughs> silly. Got a little silly on the testicles today. A little silly on the T. <laughs> Don't mind that. Just a little silly stuff down there. Yeah, I uh, I wrote your name on my taint. <laughs> You're a doctor. <laughs> Goes down to do the physical and you're just like, nice line work, huh? <laughs> yeah. Check out the shading. Shading's pretty on, good. Check out the shading on this. And if I stretch it out... <laughs> Double meanie. Watch this. Look, I, meanie. I can make it talk. Watch. It's like you have one on your hand and it's like, look at this. You make Just your testicles go. see what it looks go. like when I'm cold. You make your testicles go. <laughs> yeah, when I get cold, it turns into Great. something else. When I'm warm, cryptic. Three yeah, pictures in one, warm, baby. When I'm warm, it's uh, Van Gogh, actually. Perfect recreation of Starry Night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so small. That's the view he actually had from his hospital window. It's a limited view, but when I blow it out. <laughs> yeah, when it's hot, it's uh, Starry Night, but when it's really cold, it's just uh, it's uh, wide of uh, Van Gogh <laughs> shooting himself at a field. <laughs> it's just AI-generated, <laughs> extend the Starry Night. <laughs> yeah, when I get a boner... Pinocchio's nose grows longer. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody out there has to have right over their bush is just Pinocchio's face and their cock is the nose.
They have somebody's done that for sure. Absolutely. Somebody is Ugh. a fucking moron. Oh god. I don't know it's... what you're talking about. You have a piss bottle on you. Yeah, but that's not nearly as cool as Pinocchio. And that's right. Yeah, I got to step it up. Bonocchio. I've been thinking of a of a, a new tattoo. Ooh, what you doing? And by get? thinking well, that's what I was saying is I've been thinking of getting one but I don't know what I want, but now I know. Bonocchio. <laughs> Dude, I've been playing Liza P earlier. Uh -huh. I know what I want. Just fate. P I haven't fate. played any of Li <laughs> I haven't played any of Liza P. You're fucking missing out. I know. Just don't I play know. Starfield. The game sucks. I've heard that it sucks. It's so boring. It's a big bummer. You know when you you st start up a Bethesda game, Fallout 3, do Vegas, Skyrim, and you're like, endless possibilities. Where am I going to go? Mm -hmm. That mountain in the distance, you can walk there. And it's like, whoa, what's that building over there? I'm going to go over there and see what happens. You fight ten things along the way. You find a side quest. There's a skeleton with a note in his hand. It says, I love you, Jeremiah. And you're like, whoa, what does that mean? Who is that? Starfield is none of that shit. You land on a planet and it's like, you see that pirate base over there? You can scan everything on the way. And you fight a bunch that's of pirates and then you go somewhere else and it's the same base again. And that's kind of it. And it gets a little better later on, but it's so boring. I don't want to play a game that gets good 30 hours into it. Yeah. I don't want to. I've been thinking about that a lot because I'm like, remember when games like God of War 3 came out or Uncharted 2 and it's like, the fucking biggest scenario right from the get-go. It's like, I'm on a train. It's <laughs> collapsing. I need to get out of it. Oh, high epic tension. I'm climbing a titan. And then games uh -huh. these days are like, walk over there. Talk to that guy. Walk over here. Talk to that guy. It's like, That's why I didn't play Death Stranding. Because I heard that like people that got through it are like, yeah, it's good. But it takes like 40 hours for it to get good. No, it's the same gameplay loop the whole way through. It gets a little faster and a little easier. And that's about it. You need to really want to play that game to play it. You need to really like Monster Energy to play to play Death Stranding. You you really got to want to feel like Spider-Man to play that game. <laughs> you really got to have all the exaggerated swagger the of a swagger black team. Of black team. <laughs> oh. How did that happen? How is that You know when you have to go to school for journalism? <laughs> and I was like I just want to write shit. <laughs> God, oh baby! What is what is the last game you played? The last game I played fully all the way through. Yeah. Uh, I don't, I don't know. I feel like you don't, don't play games anymore. I feel like it's just not you in there anymore. It's just not you in there. It's just not him. I can't remember what's even come out. What's come out this year? Hold on. Like every fucking game on earth. Every big AAA game came out this year. Everyone's like, dude, Game of the Year contenders this year, it's going to be a bloodbath. It's going to be so hard to even pick the contenders of Game of the Year this year. Um, Diablo the 4, last, Star Wars, Baldur's The last AAA game that I played all the way through, I guess it was... Yeah, that's true. Uh... I guess Resident Evil 4 was the last like big, mm. big release that I played all the way through. That came out this year. That came out this w year. I played Jory's game, Homebody. Oh, that's true, yeah. I like I like that game. That was fun. Um, what else have I played? I don't know. Big game releases of 2023. Starfield, Final Fantasy 16, Baldur's Gate, Atomic Heart, Amnesia the Bunker, Hogwarts Legacy, Forspoken. God, so fucking many came out. The Dead Space remake, Mortal Kombat 1. So many. Star oh, Wars, Diablo 4, that's, Horizon. That's in your hand. Jesus Christ. That's the Mortal Kombat that's in your hand. Mortal yeah, I haven't, Kombat. Uh, I need to I need to play more games in my in my free time. Just play Dead maybe Space I'll play remake. uh maybe I'll maybe I'll play uh Liza P. I like it. I like it. Hey, man. I, I like it. It's pretty good. It's a video game that I like to play. You know what I need to play, and you're going to get excited about this because I keep forgetting to go back and doing it, is Bloodborne, Bloodborne DLC. DLC. 
Bloodborne DLC. You gotta yes. fucking do it. You gotta fucking do I it. I played Liza P and I'm like, I can play Bloodborne again. I could do it. How many times? At least 50. 50? <laughs> it's, well, it's probably closer to like 30, but it feels like 50. I've played, I've played that game a lot. I checked my PlayStation now do a thing where you can see how many hours you have in certain games on your homepage. And mine mm -hmm. was 485 hours in just the Game of the Year edition, which came out after all the DLCs. Yeah. So I probably have close to like 600 hours just in Bloodborne alone. Which, it doesn't sound like that much for the amount of playthroughs, but the more you play it, the faster you get. So a playthrough of Bloodborne mm -hmm. now takes me like eight hours. Yeah. You ready to wrap out the <clears throat> Yeah, I weirdly understood what you said. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Well, gamers, and everyone listening, or watching. What do you mean Thank gamers you so and everyone listening? Well, I don't know. Not mutually exclusive. Presumptuous of you. Everyone watching is a gamer. You know this. They're all so idiots. That's true. That's true. established this, and they know it. You know it. You we know this. Dirty little idiot, you. <laughs> oh, you can't read well, can you? <laughs> Tune in every week just to get admonished by us. Oh, you like oh, it. baby. I don't like that <laughs> I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you uh leaking, laughing, loving this week. Thanks for leaking with us this leak. Yes. See you next leak. See you next leak, leakers. For more leaking. Brain leak.